Hey, do you struggle to get scrap and rust? Do you usually lose it in the wheel at outpost? Are you incapable of doing simple fractions, you stupid <laughs> <laughs> What if I tell you there is a program out there that can help you with your scrap deficiency in your inventory? You'll probably get tired of hearing this noise. Let's went back a few weeks ago. I don't really play Rust that much, but I watch a ton of Rust YouTubers because I enjoy their content. Ooh, that doesn't look good. The wood pants. I do not like to see that. Oh, God, what time doors. is it? I saw this video by Gate Cobalt that talks about the level of probability of the wheel in Rust. How some sides of the wheels have bigger chances than others and how to ratio your scrap to earn over time. His method was all right, but I think I can do better than that. I'm going to get on detail in how I did it. So if you don't want to hear the technical stuff, well, just skip to this timestamp right here. Ah, uh, wait till those suckers see what I have planned for them. The wheel has a total of 25 slots. Okay, well, according to Gabe, from slot 3 to 13, there's a higher probability of the wheel getting chosen. About 65%, and then the other slots are about 35%. The problem with Gabe's strategy was to rely on that 65%. Nah, I think I'm gonna go all in 20. Well, I don't know if this was the case at one point, and the devs changed it, but that is sure not the case anymore. I went through multiple iterations of the program. I'll get to that in a sec, but first I started making buttons that you will need to align with each spot on the wheel, starting with zero. This way I can let you keep track of what number is what. If you align them with the wheel, originally I made an RNG function, which stands for random noodle generator, I think, that will attempt to choose the number in each button based off the probability of those numbers, according to Gabe Cobalt. Thanks Gabe, but unfortunately that was flawed. After observing the wheel for literally over hundreds of hours, I came to the conclusion that there are positions on the wheel that gets picked more than others. Unfortunately, the way that the wheel treats those positions, it's like floats and not integers, making it really hard to precisely choose the exact spot that is going to land on. Now, we need to capture an image of each individual color under the most prominent spots. We can utilize C CID 2000 color diffusion formula. It's just a fancy way of distinguishing the difference between colors. Wait, hold up, almost time. Here they come. And then she said, a cow, no. That's my mother. <laughs> oh, oh, hey guys. Oh, I'm, I might have screwed up the timing. Uh, but if you want to know uh, what we're laughing about, please just go to this timestamp right here and uh, you know, you'll be in on the joke. Right now, we know the colors under the most prominent spots. What we can do is count those colors out and then add them up to see which color has a bigger percentage of coming up. So I added a leaderboard to track that. Unfortunately, this won't be enough. That's why we are adding a state of the art calculator. I came up with this betting strategy. Everyone should probably use it. It's tested and it will make 95% of all your bets winnable. I hope. Okay, so what you want to do is put the total amount that you're going to bet on the box. And this state of the art calculator will divide your investment to the most popular colors on the leaderboard. If you click next to the color rectangle, you can copy and paste the bed and paste it to your scrap stack. That's, that's a funny word. And once you're done placing the bed, to reset the scoreboard and prepare for the next spin, just press the key R for refresh. To improve your chances of winning, the best strategy I can offer is always invest on yellow. Next, green or blue, and then either red or purple. Also, you are going to need what I call the investment kit, which consists of a flashlight, which is about 30 scrapped, a hat flashlight, which costs a little bit of glow grade, some cloth, and some metal frags. And finally, about 10 tuna cans or any other sufficient amount of food. Investing makes you hungry. And of course, a copy of Wheel Guru, free of charge, which link is on the description. For only $2.50 a month, you could help feed an unemployed developer. That is less than the price of a cup of coffee. About eight cents a day. Ask for more. No, I, I think that's enough. No, it's not. And, oh, found a dollar.
Nice. Could I have it? No, I, I think I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna hold on to it. I'll give you a cut later. Check out the link on the description. But that's enough talk. Let's see how profitable this thing really is and show you other tales of the wheel I've learned on the way before seriously using it. I want to say this app is not really a cheat. Cheats are intrusives and they pretty much bullied whichever game they are made for. Or they also alter the game's behavior in directly affecting other players. With that said, it's more of a calculator that only scams the wheel in Rust. I don't really encourage the use of it and I don't make myself responsible for any possible bans even though I've been using it for hundreds of hours and I have not being banned yet. Before we jump in, I need to go undercover. All right, so guys, after you get your uh, flashlight and your your miner's helmet and enough uh, Enough tuna cans to last you until you are 35 years old. You should be good to start. So, like I said, all you need is to launch the, the program. And once it's launched, line up your wheels. Lower all your texture, call the quality down. Disable everything that's got to do with color related in your graphic settings. And then you just run it from there. See? Three, two, one. Yeah, it's probably gonna be. Oh, to 100, and then 100 right here. Click over here. Copy, paste, copy, paste. So you just have to click next to the button to copy it, and then it's already copied in your in your clipboard, and you can just click and paste. Voila. Just like that. And to access your box, you can use Outlook and voila. There we go. Well fit. Um, also, since you know the, the way that the color algorithm works, you need to be very precise in how you handle things. For example, right here, see, it didn't register red, but red is technically under 20 right there, right? So keep that in mind. Give it a quick look. All the colors that are red, are the most prominent prominent spots in the wheel, so use them as reference for you know purple and red is coming up. But since purple comes up twice, you know it's more likely to come up than uh, in this case red. Personally, I think that, but there's still a chance that red is going to come up, right? Oh look, let's do 100 and then we do. Oh damn it! I didn't look at the time. Too much time talking. Just wait till this thing is done. You want to have your miner's hat on at nighttime. You don't have to do it during the day. Mainly just at nighttime. And, um, you know, turn it on at night, turn it off at, uh, during the day. But it's essentially working perfectly. The problem is that at night, you know, you it will still struggle to see this, this wheel of ours. And um, profit, see, 64 profit. All right, so I'm going to do some gambling. Actually, I'm gonna go to my my one by one and drop all this tuna. I'll do a little bit of fast gambling and uh, we'll see how it goes. Jeez, guys, I just realized that I just realized that um, that you couldn't see the overlay. <laughs> you couldn't see the overlay of the of the app running in the background because I was capturing the window instead of the whole freaking. Oh, boy, the, the whole this, ugh, this is just awful about it, but it seems like green is a minority so let's do 
one hundo on green again. And then... And then, fuck. That should be more than enough. I feel like red also has a pretty good opportunity. Um, yeah, red... You know, if red is one in one of those spots, and it's only one spot for purple... Oh, what the heck was that? This wheel is trying to scam me! Oh! That was so close, dudes. So flipping close. Look at that. 300. Ah? Huh? Ah, oh, you sucker. Man, that 20 should have been mine. Should have gone in a bit deeper. Saw it, wheel winner. Hey, it was good. I, I I came with 900 scrap. You gonna gamble again? I am. That's tough. You just tell me what to do, bro. <laughs> sure thing, dude. Let's see. Uh, right now, it's not a good. It's not a good turn. Oh, this is a good one. I have All a right, hunch. We'll I have a hunch that's gonna be a green. Alright. Well, don't put all your whatever scrap you got left on it. You, you One, gotta one twenty on green. It. Uh, it's a, it's 120, a hunch. One twenty on hunch. green. I got eight hundred left. It could it could go and do. Left. Could could do blue because of the the split right there. So like when you have when you have that that three, you see the one that's next to the blue together like that. Most of the times it will repeat the same spot, or it will um it will go ahead of it. So you want to bet when it's like right on top of the middle, or behind the three in the middle. That make any sense? That made any sense? It's a manual. Don't worry about it. Yep. It's a three. There you go. Yep. Got it. Yeah. So now, now it's doing? gonna gonna be another three, and either a red or a purple, or you know, yellow. Look at that, folks! Look at that. Let's see what happens. We're winner. Dude, this guy's the fucking G. Every time I've came here, I've fucking left with more scrap when I came with. I only launched this game, listen, I only launched this game to to break the wheel. Damn, I like a man that commands attention. Oh! Uh, yeah! Big boys! Oh, dude! Alright, next one is blue. Next one is blue. Blue and purple. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you just gotta gotta read a note it's for a video just gotta read a note and no out loud you know <laughs> read a note. it's nothing listen it's nothing filthy or anything it's just it's an ad for my uh for my 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 pro just read the note man you look, look just read the note collecting scrap used to be hard i used to get killed by cheaters all the time while Yo, farming you're actually for scrap a w. and i was really bad at the game but now i can get scrap without yeah, even playing the game i just see cl clicking the button and guess the color thank you wheel guru there you go i never thought it would be this easy to earn scrap thank you dev bud thank next you. thank you dev bud yeah man go subscribe to dev bud on youtube